What's going on, y'all? Today we got most disrespectful moments this NBA season, man. Let's get into this. These are the most disrespectful <laughs> moments of this NBA season. James And at number 15, a fan sitting courtside went for LeBron. This music is crazy on oh, oh, rebound. Don't, don't, don't give me copyright again. Right. Uh, hey, bro, you better get this together. That we seen that airline. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel you like, what? Wait, hold on. I'm a man first. First of all, you not about to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you talking crazy. <laughs> you know what <laughs> and at number 15, a fan sitting courtside went for LeBron's hat. Got the side himself. Hey, bro, you better get this together. Very seen that hairline. White lady, that one. Look at that. You sick. Man, that fan cut deep. But nah, number 14 cut even though. deeper. Because Aaron Gordon hit a dunk so disrespectful, it killed a man. Jesus, Shamit got sat on, but I'd rather that than our 13th disrespectful moment. Oh my god, he, he did do a filthy. Because a kid ran into his favorite player, Russell Westbrook, only for this to happen. Russell, can you please stop my jersey? Please, Russell, please, you're my favorite player. Please, Rush. Damn, Russ gave him the cold shoulder, Russ but Jason Tatum uh, is straight bullying kids. Cause at number 12, he talked trash to a couple of eight-year-olds right to their face. <laughs> yeah, Tatum said F those kids. But at number 11, Patrick Beverly said F you to LeBron James. Beverly stops, looks, shoots, scores. Pat Bev comes back and scores over LeBron. And he did the yeah, sit. Did the side too small, yeah. LeBron. He did. Oh my God, Pat was asking for the smoke. But in number 10, <laughs> a fan was asking to get his <laughs> ass dumb. kicked because he trash talked Russell Westbrook and it went terribly. Come on, Westbrook. Westbrook, you suck ass. Duh. And then he gonna tell him what he was doing, bro. Like, come on, bro. But that was even that crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Russ, Russ, Russ be overreacting sometimes. I ain't gonna cap. He a hothead. What fuck you suck ass? <laughs> I was just be like, all right, bro. I was about to laugh or something. Like, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was calling you out, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, he changed that. Well, I'm from Chase, you know? I also said that. <laughs> Come on, baby, we need you. <laughs> Nah, uh, niggas, hey, bro, my fan switched up quick, but <laughs> we're switching up to number nine, because we got to talk me, about bro. Grant Williams. I mean, he tried to trash talk quick. Donovan Mitchell, like, and it nah, went horribly wrong. Yeah, after a back and forth <laughs> game, Grant found himself at the free throw line with the score tied up and two shots to win it. So he thought he had the W in the bag and oh, started on, talk talking a little trash. Oh, yeah, I should have fixed this, yeah. There's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of stuff going on out here. I don't know how to flip my camera. That's what I do. Yeah. Give me a win. Yeah, I did it. I'm full. Sorry. I'm back. Great. Let's see what that is. Lovely reactor. What a story. Grant Williams can write. Oh, 
attack. The Celtics get free throws in the final second. Grant missed them both, sending the game missing to overtime, where the Celtics took the L. Damn, uh. dude should have just kept his mouth shut. And the 76ers should have kept their mouth shut too, because in number eight, they disrespected Giannis by putting up a ladder while he was trying to practice. Oh yeah, I remember this too. Do it, do it, Jesus. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's been dumb. <laughs> you trying to stop myself from getting some shots of like. Man, I, I really never found out what happened about that. Disrespect to New Heights. And so did Zion Williamson, cause at number seven, he hit a dunk that was so disrespectful, a team tried to fight him for it. Yeah, in December of 2022, Zion's Pelicans were just seconds away from a win over the Phoenix Suns. And when New Orleans up big, all they had to do was dribble out the clock. But instead, Zion wanted to put a little extra sauce on the dub. Ooh, Zion scorched the Suns. But number six really burnt. Cause after sitting out a row, scorched the Suns. But number six really burnt. Cause after sitting out a road game against the Nuggets for the third straight season, fans thought Joel Embiid was avoiding the defending MVP, Nikola Jokic. So in response, Embiid got roasted for it by a couple of kids. So right here, I want you to pay attention to the details. No MVPs, no first team all-star. Tall is the description. Man, these kids were out of pocket. But Draymond Green is out of control. That's why in number five, he disrespected Dylan Brooks in front of the entire world. Yeah, see, uh, these guys have had some beef over the years, but this season, things got real personal. Cause going into a game between the Warriors and Grizzlies, ESPN did a full story on Dylan Brooks, and he went off on Draymond, saying, I don't like Draymond at all. I just don't like Golden State. I don't like anything to do with them. Draymond talks a lot, gets away with a lot too. His game is cool with Golden State, but if you put him anywhere else, you're not gonna know who Draymond is. Yeah, <laughs> and when word got back to Draymond, well, he was pissed. If you ever wondered, why the Memphis Grizzlies is not ready to compete for a championship. Look no further than this idiot right here. They're actually depending on this guy to help them win a championship. And he says his game is cool. Shh. Dre, was Draymond correct? Let me know in the comments. Just ask me personally, man. It looked like he was correct, man. He barking up. They got Dylan Brooks barking up the tree. Talking about, you know, respect to the give him 40 ball. Get about, you know what I'm saying? What about the gym? How we coming, man? Come Quite on. frankly, that just shows how little you know about basketball. And that's where it gets really interesting because the, your level of understanding the game of basketball is at a fan level. And yet, y'all, you running around talking about a dynasty? The dynasty starts after you. Yeah, the dynasty Not is with crazy. you. Draymond Green was seeing red. And just a day later, things finally reached a boiling point. Because during their matchup, Draymond and Dylan came face to face and got nasty. For Bain and now oh, another steal. Turnover. Brooks by Green puts it up and in. Oh, and they're talking. talking. Oh, they're talking. discussing the podcast. And they, and they out. Green won't have any of it, and Brooks wants to try to win the first. I'm not buying it. A 17 to 4 Memphis Grizzly yeah. run. Shoving your balls in another man's face. It's hard to top that. But number four was even ballsy, cause Trey Lyles picked a fight with seven foot one giant, Brooke Lopez. And Lyles, what Lopez, oh, Lopez, Lopez. Coach is getting involved, it spills into the scores table. And Lopez, he has been upset the entire second half. Damn, Trey Lyles went for the throat. But I right, thought it's top three time. So from here on out, it's the dirtiest of the dirty. Nah, and to kick things off, we've got the Memphis like, Grizzlies. Because earlier this season, it. they tried to fight Games. an NFL Hall of Famer on live TV. Yeah, this is NFL legend Shannon Sharp. 
And while this man was a beast in his playing days, I he became an even bigger problem you know, after retiring. Cause this man got his own TV show where he roast other athletes all day long. Here's the problem that Luke that Luca having, Skip. He's 20, 30 pounds out of shape. JR, when are you gonna do something other than bull have on the court? What has he done? Nothing! Yeah, this man speaks trash talk. And earlier this season, Shannon set his sights on the Grizzlies because he was sitting courtside in LA, watched him take on the Lakers, when, out of nowhere, he started talking trash to Dylan Brooks, yelling, you're too small to guard LeBron. And that is when shit hit the fan. Never dull moments in the NBA because after the buzzer sounded, there was a little bit of an incident here courtside at the Crypto.com Arena. Dylan Brooks was having words with Shannon Sharp. And you see Steven Adams comes over to protect his guy along with the supporting cast. And then Shannon Sharp still talking. And T. Morant, John Morant's dad, comes over. Had an opportunity to talk to T. Morant. And he said, my, high, my blood pressure didn't go up a bit. Nothing but love and respect for Shannon Sharp. It's a bunch of guys talking a bunch of trash. Right, it's appropriate for a fan to kind of go back and forth with you guys like that? Regular pedestrian like him, no. He never came back in the game. But, it's LA. Uh, how the hell are you gonna call someone a pedestrian? Looking like that. Man, I've seen it all. <laughs> but Russell Westbrook can't. Because a number. <laughs> looking like. He's talking about looking like that. Now, bro, face is funny as shit. That's one of the things, like, bro, just look funny. Looking, looking like looking that, dude. man, I've seen it's it all. Like. But Russell Westbrook can't, cause at number Funny two, Zach Collins dude. didn't just disrespect Russ. He nearly blinded him. They've got Collins guarding Russell Westbrook. They all be going down. Whew, man, thank God he had a nurse. And thank God for Draymond Green, because he gave us the most disrespectful <laughs> moment of the entire <laughs> season. Yeah. See, Draymond's middle name is disrespect. He'll yell at you, he'll trip you, he'll even kick you in the balls. And the craziest part he is, it doesn't even matter who you are, because Draymond disses anyone, that. even his own teammates. And during a Warriors team practice, Jordan Poole found that out the hard way, because he started going at it with Draymond, talking all kinds of trash yeah, to the guy, until this. eventually, Draymond lost his goddamn mind, punching his own teammate right in the face. Jesus Christ! Yeah, but in the end, too. they both got. Wait, was that the? Was that the? Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! But was in the, the end, the they camera? both was got hit because the, the Warriors punch. ended up finding Draymond for the punch, punch. and dead. most importantly, it right. made him apologize to Jordan publicly. But you know who really needs to apologize? Robert Williams. Cause this dude dunked so hard, he broke the rim, causing a 40 minute delay and creating one of the weirdest moments I've ever seen. But the NBA gets even weirder, from Giannis playing with a toy dinosaur mid-game to a ref riding an ATV through the court. There's been a lot of strange stuff going on. Look, if you- Yeah, that's cool, man. I mean, that's the end of this joint. If y'all enjoyed this joint, y'all know what to do. Like the video, comment, subscribe, click on the last joint. No mind, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. Appreciate y'all for watching.